few bad words too. Howdy everyone. My name is Kim Gucci and I'm coming to you from my ancestral territory, the Clay Utene, which is also known as Prince George. And I'd like to acknowledge that I'm also in um, free territory, the Ganesha people. Is this correct? Yes? And and I'm also part Cree. My grandfather was the late Dan Goshe, and then our name got changed to Gucci, so my name is now Gucci. And I'm also uh, from the Sukhutnik territory, the Sukhutnik Ulu, which is Shushwa. Are you having a hard time hearing? Because the noise is bleeding through? Well, let's fix that. she needed to come back to the earth and they left her with a message and that is I will I can and I am and when you armor yourself up with those words even if you just say it right now I will and I can I am it'll make you sit a little taller It'll make you feel a little stronger. So I took this song to my grandmother, my late grandmother, Mary Gucci. I used to spend a lot of time with her recording and documenting the language, the Dakath language, which is the language of the Klaitli people. And she translated, I will, I can, I'll show you I am. And it sounds like this.
Snitchelia, Cook's Gem. These are all the ways that I know how to say thank you. My drama's a little thirsty. So, I did some work. I did some work at the Nowakin Youth and Cultural Center. Let's hear it for them back there. This exists, this place exists in the city to help support the youth, especially in the north. I think it's especially challenging in the north. And um, I raised my kids in Moberly Lake. So I used to come to Dawson for various things, to go shopping or to go to a concert or things like that. So I know how hard it is to raise children in the north. So I just really want to just let you know that it just meant so much to me to see what is happening in the city to support our youth. And um, to know that there's leadership training that's happening. They call it a, is it a leadership council or? Youth council. Yeah. Youth council. So this is what they do. They come out and they, they bake cupcakes and they create baskets for raffles and they raise money and they create awareness. And that's just like, these are life skills, right? You can't learn that on a video game, right? So we did this yesterday. We did a drumming circle, and I gave my drum a drink. And so my drum is very happy right now. It's so hot out there, right? My drum's been in the car. This one's made of an elk. So watch. Watch how happy my drum is going to be, oh yeah, so happy. So another song that I would love to share with you is honoring my late grandmother. And grandmother in the Dekha language is Atsu. So it's sort of like you're going to sneeze. Atsu. That's how you can remember it really easily. Just like in um, Cree, it's kukum. And I know there's these jokes about kukum and mushum. It's like, how do you like your potatoes? Right, Reg? Yeah, kukum and mushum. It's like grandma and grandpa. So atsu. So the word shun means song. So atsu shun, grandmother's song, goes like this. And it's an hunsu, Saya, that's who is there. I've got to dead in case, Crook so jazz in case, my duty.
I actually live on the reserve out at Clayton Tanay. I moved away for a lot of years. I lived in Moberly Lake for 12 years. And then I lived in the Okanagan for 12 years. And now I'm back in Prince George at the Clayton Tanay. And I've been there for seven years. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it 12 or more. And um, I'm just reclaiming my culture, reclaiming my language. And I'm working on a children's CD of songs in the indigenous languages. So in the Sequemekshin, which is the Shuswap language, in the Cree language, and then also in the Dekha, which is the carrier language. So I've taught myself how to count to 10, which is a really good way to start to learn the language because you get to learn the vowels and the vowel sounds. And so learning to count to 10 in an indigenous language is one of the ways to do that. And so what was super, super fun um, was that on Thursday night I played here and there was a fellow who, we had a little sharing off the stage because it, it was just a very small group of us. And off the stage there was a fellow who um, wanted to share that he could count to 10 in Inuktitut. And he was a non-Indigenous person, but he had spent a lot of time up there. And it was so amazing that he went all the way. And it was just, it sounded so, it just sounded ancestral and awesome. And so I wrote a little ukulele song to help me get to the number 10. And how I did this was I was, I was stacking wood into the house and I would just count to three and I'd memorize to three and then I'd add a number, add a number. And then the chickadees were flying around and singing their little chickadee dee dee song. And so it, I thought, well, hey, I wanna incorporate this whole experience because I love when language is informed by the land and by, by what's happening around us. So that's when I came up with this little song. It's probably going to be the first song on my album. It's the first song I wrote in the language. It's like this. started playing ukulele in December. I got one for Christmas. And now this is my second one, and I think I already want a third one. It's just a thing. Um, I don't think too many people get just one ukulele. And so I was, it, was just, it was January, and I had went on to YouTube and taught myself just a few chords on YouTube, and took this lesson. And, um, and then I was sitting there looking out the window, and it was just like, it was like snowing. It was just falling down so beautifully and so slowly. And then I decided, um, hey, let's give this ukulele a try. And I went like this. There is deep snow in January. February is the month of love. Brings a spring when the birds start to sing, and then there's April, May, and June. April, May, and June. April, May, and June is when the flowers are in bloom. Just like 
person that I think is going to be in my life for the rest of my life. And she's here, right here. And her name is Andy LaRock. And, and she made me this beautiful ribbon skirt. Like, I told her, oh, hey, I love your ribbon skirt. And, and I told her that when she came to my show, she sat, the, all the chairs were down, and she kind of sat right here. And when I saw her, I felt instantly grounded because she was wearing her beaded earrings and her beautiful dark hair in a braid. And she was wearing like a skirt, ribbon skirt. And I just, I just connected to her and I, she just held me and grounded me. And then I invited her for dinner. And then we hung out. And then today she presents me with this skirt. And she said she knew my size because she hugged me. <laughs> And the bottom ribbon is green, representing the earth. And the blue ribbon represents the water. And the orange ribbon represents all of the children and the residential school survivors. And the red ribbon represents murdered and missing Indigenous people. Like, she knew my heart, because that is what I talk about. That's what my music is all about. And so I just want to thank you. Like, to base Natalia is like the deepest of thanks to you, my friend. Yes. And then it continues. Because, um, because she's also a fabulous makeup artist. And so she did my makeup. Yeah, you can't, you can't see it from there, but it's like I've never, I don't ever wear makeup. And so it's been such a treat. So I feel, I feel extra beautiful today. <clears throat> so here's a song that really honors the water and the land, and the mountains, and all of creation, and it's called Every Mountain. Whoa, just hold on. That was a false start. La, la, la. the 
trees call your name the truth in their message remains the same every mountain has a story every river has a song all the birds in creation know how to sing along you can sing along to this part if you wish